is because I'm very inquisitive even about my own faith. I'm very much a doubter. And okay. so that's why I subscribe to my faith because in the arguments, I have found enough evidence to believe because I wanted to find a lot of reasons early on to not believe. Small doses, self-help from the hip. Small doses, we're talking that shit. Small doses, and keeping it real. Small doses, with me and Nancy. It's so funky. So funky. <laughs> Small doses. We've been here for five years, 270 some odd episodes, but we have never discussed. Gust. Disgust. <laughs> We've never discussed like anything in the realm, even like juxtaposed or, you know, up against uh, religion. I'm shocked. We, you, the, <laughs> I'm not shocked. I've just been fun. You're being facetious? Yeah, because, yeah, I mean, yeah. the thing is, is that <laughs> it's very difficult to have that conversation with, Unless you have a clear direction, because you can get misconstrued, you know it can it can go uh, into a direction that is I don't think healthy, um, and it becomes just like people being egotistical about like, well, I know this and you know this and I know this, et cetera, et cetera. Which is unfortunate. It's unfortunate. So I've been very particular about when I wanted to have a conversation that went into the realm of spirituality and uh, thus landing at faith. Cancers. Um, so we are here with the legendary, iconic. It's too much. It's too much. You think so? I think it's a little pushed. Why do you think it's a little pushed? I think you're pushing a little bit, but it's okay. Let's get into this good stuff. Yeah, it's a little pushed. Yeah, it's okay. We're here. I y'all know I don't lie, so we're here with the legendary and iconic Kirk Franklin. I'm very happy to have you here. You don't lie at all. I was chastised on my way here, ladies and gentlemen. <clears throat> Why? Yeah. Because as a black man, I was late. <laughs> <laughs> Why gotta be as a black man? <laughs> and, no, can we and also? She gave me, and she gave it to. Listen, let me tell you something. I have been in uh, this this field for over thirty years. I want you to know that today was the first time in thirty years that I've ever had in my entire career. Really? Facts. facts a fellow creative. Like, correct you. No, 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 not correct me. <laughs> Take their belt off. Take their belt it's off. It's just because I have bass and, in my voice. And 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 basically Denzel me in glory. Yeah. That yeah. is yeah. wildly yeah. Yeah, offensive. That's what happened. Yeah, that's what happened. I did not Denzel you in glory. That's what you did. You did. Let me, me tell you what I did. But 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 I'm happy to be here, scars and all. Let me tell you. <laughs> I asked this brother. Okay? I said, I know you serve an on-time guy. <laughs> but are you an on-time man? Because, and I, because... And I lied and said, yes, I was. When I, <laughs> when I knew I was, but I was trying to impress her. She's Amanda. She's Amanda. She's Amanda Skills. I was trying to impress her. Thank you. And I appreciate you. But the most impressive thing is honesty. Because what it Ooh, meant facts, facts, was that I was facts. scheduling things I'm based boy. on you and your... If you had said to me, I am not really an on-time person. I would have scheduled things differently. And I knew that today was a very jam-packed day. I but failed. I knew that we only had a small window of your time. I failed. I failed. No, you did not fail. But I want to let you know the context because you all, what you also heard was disappointment because we, me, Jeremiah, like the Bible. That's literally <laughs> his name. Uh, but, we but, were excited but, to have this combo. And at the same time, I also have to admit to you, even as a man, even 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 as a happily married man, it was very powerful and very sexy. I don't want to hear that. Okay. It was. Okay. It was very powerful <laughs> and very sexy. I don't want to hear it. Uh, and also okay. because, I mean. It, it was very powerful. Yeah. Very, very, very it, it would be. It would be it's lovely. It would be lovely when a if, woman if, just, if that would be lovely if men felt that way. But it, it was, is it, not. They it only powerful. feel that when, when they're not your men. No. Well, no, 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 no. That's how I'm as a man, period. But we need to get into my God and Jesus and Bible and all that other stuff. So come on. <laughs> so the idea, the concept of faith. So this came out of, we were trying to figure out like, okay, what do we want to discuss that really encapsulates just not only your belief system, but also the work 
that you have created that has given so many people a like a direct path to like preserving their faith, to being able to stand on their faith, et cetera. You know, I often say when I find myself in murky waters, I'm like, dang, it would be so great to be a Christian right now. <laughs> oh, because I, I could really use some faith. <laughs> which is, which is, I think the 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 area that becomes problematic of faith is that the reason why it doesn't have a very uh, a very substantive space in just in the context of modern culture is because historically it has always been more of a spare tire. Elaborate what you say. Oh, just something that you pull out when you yes, need it. Yes, yes, yes. I think because mm. it has never become much of the fabric of of, of our DNA is because uh, it has become easier to argue God away because we don't really have all the full information of the idea of God or the facts of God or the understanding of the historical context that people subscribe to Christianity through. Well, I mean, I think it's fair to say, though, that the concept of God is not... I mean, it's not even fair to say. It's just facts. The concept of God is not simply, is not quote unquote owned by Christianity. No, it's right? not. No, it's not. And no, so when no. we talk about faith, no. we can actually talk about faith beyond the confines of Christianity because yes. ultimately yes. faith in a higher power yes. is not necessarily relegated to like how religion shows up in that aspect. But it's not always quantifiable with with the, with the, without things that are more substantive, things that are more That's fundamental. Fair. And I think that there is an academic intellectual perspective to the idea of Christianity that 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 often is misunderstood or <clears throat> misused. It, misused or it gets lost in revisionist history. So, you know, for me, the, so when we met, um, you know, I forgot Which what- Which was amazing. We did meet at Celebrity Squares. It was a good time. It was amazing. And- um, uh, I, I'm very impressed with this young lady. <laughs> I appreciate being called young lady at 42. Mm -hmm. um, well, I'm older than you, so I can- I mean, I won't lie to you. I look, anybody who's listening, you should watch the podcast because I currently look a solid- 56? No, she don't. This look I'm giving today feels very... She's a young 56. <laughs> <laughs> no. um, but the dress was definitely giving uh, Preacher's Daughter. That was the vibe. Mm -hmm. <laughs> that was the vibe. Okay. I had a, I put on something else and I was like, oh no, you can't wear that. They're going to be like, who would you think you were interviewing? <laughs> and I was like, you know what? Let me get respectful. Um, I probably so am weird. starting too much shin. But... <gasps> Shin. I love shin. 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 Um, she's a shill in a shin. So I, I was saying to you, though, that I, so I forget, forget what the question was, but somehow it came up for me saying like, well, you know, I don't consider my, I'm not a Christian, but I do consider myself spiritual. But I think that. Um, and you can see the lights go off in me. Can you? Yes. 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 And so then it became, oh, let's discuss. Yes. 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 It's because that is very much by nature who I am. I'm very inquisitive. I'm very much uh, the type of person that wants to get into the details of people's ideals and how they are wired to believe what they believe. And what do you, where more, do you think that came from? <clears throat> it's because I'm very inquisitive even about my own faith. I'm very much a doubter. And okay. so that's why I subscribe to my faith because in the arguments, I have found enough evidence to believe because I wanted to find a lot of reasons early on to not believe. It's that uh, my faith began to be questioned is because, again, being African-American, it's already assumed that we just, <clears throat> we matriculate to faith because of our culture, mm -hmm. you know, and especially in my era. There, 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 there was an era that you were Christian because you went to church, that that the church and your faith were, were um, 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 they were sometimes synonymous, right? Yes. And, mm -hmm. and, and, and that in itself becomes problematic. <clears throat> Why? Well, it's because just because you go to church doesn't uh, doesn't yeah, mean you yeah, yeah, doesn't yeah, yeah. mean you're actually yeah, yeah, yeah. subscribing just because, to that. Just because you're in the garage doesn't make you a car. Fair. We see that all the time. Clarence mm -hmm. Thomas be at church, baby, and that's the devil. <laughs> well, when she looked in the camera, she looked right in the camera. You're so good. Yeah. All the little nuances yeah. that you do are so good. Okay, I appreciate anyway, that. Anyway, let me get back because I'm a fan. But I do think <clears throat> that. That that in itself has become problematic for people of color, especially people of color, being able to intellectually argue the reasons why they believe what they believe. So everything stays on an emotional state. Yes. And 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 so nothing nothing becomes rooted in any type of space that you can intelligently argue the reasons of why. 
But you know what I feel like, honestly, Kirk, a lot of times the arguing of why people believe what they believe in terms of their faith oftentimes feels like it's couched in their, they're using their faith to oppress someone else. Whenever I'm seeing often a lot of, can be. often that's what often I'm seeing in terms be. of the dynamic. Like, cause I feel like, listen, whatever you need to get through, do that for you. Like, I'm not somebody, like, even though I am not a Christian, I am not somebody who feels like it's my business to try to undermine, like, oh, well, let me tell you what the real Bible is. And let me tell you, you know, which I I see that happen as well, where I'm just like, what are you trying to prove right now? Like, this person may have needed this construct. They may have needed this space. They may have needed this faith. Um to simply just get through this life. Like, who are you to come now and try to undermine it because you read some books? Mm, like, that's mm, not, mm, <laughs> that's not, yeah. that actually isn't intellectualism. It's actually just egoism. Yes, 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 it can be. And and I, and I, and I think that what separates uh, the conversation that we're having all has to do with motive and intent. I think motive and intent, m- yes. Motive and intent must always be necessary when, when it comes to, for example, like I asked you downstairs if because I felt bad for coming late if I could take you to dinner. Now I wanted to, it's it's my motive and intent was really because I am a fan. Mm-hmm. I think that you are brilliant and smart, which is always intriguing for me because I want to ask a billion questions. Thank but you. but in my motives and intents were, well, girl, let me take you to uh go and let me take you down here to this Waffle House and and go and get you, you know what I'm saying? Uh, I mean, you uh, did uh, say Roscoe's. It's not much better than Waffle House. Well, because it's supposed to be a joke <laughs> and it didn't land well. But you are so, not a comedian. <laughs> well, you could help. Well, you know, you could have laughed and then pulled me to the side and say, next time. I don't something. know if it's a joke. You have to understand something about me. I take everything literal. I know you do. I know you do. And I can see that. It is. And it's scary <laughs> at times. It's, it's it's a lot. Yeah. yeah. But getting back, getting, getting back. Touché. I think that she said touche. Yeah. I think the motive and intent uh, is because as a Christian, I am going to want to have moments. Wait, can we just say what my response was to the dinner? She she said, no, little old. <laughs> <laughs> I did not say that. <laughs> because you took it very gracefully. And I appreciate that. Yeah, she said she's busy. She ain't got time to be <laughs> going, to, going, going to dinner with people to go to church. So, <laughs> <laughs> the worst. So, 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 as a Christian, you know, yes, my motive and intent at times will read through as she's looking at her phone um, that that I'm going to want to have opportunities to share my faith mm-hmm. to see if it's something mm-hmm. that can be of interest to someone, but it must be done with grace. It must be done with humility. It cannot be done with an author with an authoritarian perspective. Um yeah. That, yeah, yeah, yeah. And 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 I think that historically these are the things that have been the 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 crutches and the undermining of what real Christianity was always created to be. It's is that is that there's this grace and this understanding when you fully understand who you were and what you were without this belief system. And so you lovingly present these ideas and truths to see if they can be something that someone may, may consider and believe. But even through, uh, you know, just the turn of enlightenment, uh, and especially during the uh, Jesus movement of the early 70s, um, the biggest tool that was used that was weaponized was come to Jesus so you don't go to hell. Yes. I mean, I remember someone telling me that in the 90s. It's scary. You need to go. You, Amanda, if you don't become Christian, you're going to go to hell. Yeah. And I was like, don't yeah. I have to believe in hell to go yeah. there? Wow. Okay. All right. There it is. Bam. <laughs> and so, and so, you know, yeah. And, and I, and I, and I think that that has when that has what the issue is in general that makes Christianity look duplicitous. 10 points for Gryffindor for the use of duplicitous. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. I find, I find. This is amazing. I, I want to, there is, okay. So we know that during slavery, Christianity was presented to black folks. No doubt. In a no very doubt. specific way. No doubt. Right? No doubt. So Bible, the slave Bible no was doubt. very lacking. No doubt. In its totality. Yes. Uh, it was, it was curated. Yes. To create a certain type of person. Yes. Um, and that person was someone that was forgiving, yes. that was looking not at what they have here now, yes. but looking to heaven. And so, yes. you know, this existence yeah. on earth was one that was supposed to be yes. about just serving the best yes. that you can because you're really mm-hmm. the good time yeah. is actually gonna be later. You don't yeah. gotta worry about the good time right now. Yeah. Serve the these European- white people. Serve these. 
Did and the, the European imageries of the blue yes, eyed Jesus. The blue eyed like Jesus. One of the, uh, Bee Gees, Definitely. You know, you know, he looks like the lead <laughs> singer of the Bee Gees. Yeah. Yes. You know, all uh, of those ideals yes. were weapons. Yeah. So that being <clears throat> said, do we feel like there is a Christianity, there is an a, a there is a connection to faith that has to be intrinsically different for black people in America than in just the general concept of Christianity as a whole? It's, I think that more than that, there needs to be a deconstruction of what Christianity has been over the last several centuries when it when it comes to the West. Is that Western culture needs a new, um, Jesus needs a PR person. Jesus needs a PR person. It's because uh, the evangelical movement has been trash, has been garbage. Not all evangelicals, but the evangelical movement. The what would we, just for layman's terms, what would we consider to be the evangelical movement? Like what is in what is that indicative during, of? During the 50s, the 40s, 50s, and 60s, during the rise of during the rise of the of the evangelical or the political right, we started to see where white Christians and politics began to be so, so much intrinsically involved Attached, where, yeah. where it was very incestuous. Right. Mm -hmm. And so we had these issues where where these 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 neo white ideals that were fabricated and they were packaged in evangelical white Christianity in America to the point that even churches were silent on even issues of Jim Crow, civil rights, where even one of my uh, heroes, Dr. Billy Graham, told Dr. King he was being too loud. And so if why was Billy Graham one of your heroes? It's because I loved his movement at the time of being able to welcome all people to hear the faith. At, mm. at, at, at one time, his his microphone was so loud right. that he invited all people to be able to hear the faith. You know, that 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 there there was not a public uh, uh, message that did not have a door open to all people, but to find out privately. That there were conversations that were having, uh, that were being had on the levels of politics, on the levels of civil rights, that were hypocritical yeah. to the teachings of Jesus. It was disappointing, and and it just also showed uh, the failure and the fragility of 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 uh, his humanity. Just like we see the fragility even and even in the life of Dr. King. So you know, all of our heroes were flawed, right? You know, we we have yeah, black heroes that were flawed, and so, but. But if the evangelical church collectively would have acknowledged that racism and slavery was a sin, it couldn't have existed in Western culture because there was a period of time that the white church was so powerful in its political stance and its influence in politics that collectively, if the evangelical church in America would have stood together and said that this is a sin against a group of people that are brothers and sisters, it never could have survived in the West the way it did. And they didn't. And they aren't. And they aren't. How does that apply to the LGBTQIA plus community? I think that it applies to all people that are human. Humans should be treated with the level of grace and love the way that Jesus would want them to be treated. Can you just say it one more time? Every human being should be treated with the level of grace mercy and love the way that Jesus would want to treat them. I do not believe in gay churches. I don't believe in white churches. I don't believe in black churches. If you can't go to church and we got to have these side churches where people feel welcomed, All right. it's a problem with the church. Everybody should be able to come to the same church, get the same medicine. When you say it's a problem with the church, you mean it's a problem with that individual church or with the the the, the community of church? The the. The ideology of what the church is from a bibliocentric perspective. Biblocentric. Never heard that word. Let me take you to Roscoe's. Anyway, I'm saying to you that <laughs> this is so good, isn't it? <laughs> isn't this good? Because we can keep the little the, the 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 little side things going all the time. I'm saying <laughs> that 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 when people have to establish churches yes. for people that do not feel welcome it in is church. Counterintuitive. It is, it is counterintuitive to what the church is. It's antithetical. It's because the church is the hospital and all of us got stuff in us that's sick. Everybody, every human has something. You got a toe. I'm quite sure this morning you woke up and one of them toes, an ankle or an elbow or this something. This toe right here. Look at it. See, See that toe? See? Ladies and gentlemen, she got a toe that ain't like the other toe. It's bruised because I kicked a box. There you go. As beautiful as she is, as pretty as this dress that Deborah got on. <laughs> 
That was her name. We call that Deborah. I look like Deborah. I also look like I yeah. have a very thick neck. This beautiful lady named standing in for for uh, Amanda. Amanda Deborah has a bruised toe. So guess what? Mm-hmm. She should be able to go to the same hospital with somebody that just got shot. You see what I'm saying? Yeah. It's the hospital. That's what the church was supposed to be for all of God's people because all of us got something that needs the physician to see. What do you feel like faith does in terms of healing? How does faith work in your opinion? If we're going to this hospital, how does the implement how does the implementation of faith work within us to heal? Great question. Any doctor that's worth his degree no matter what he has studied, no matter what he's able to offer, he understands that healing also is this co-participation between the doctor and the patient. Before he prescribes any, any amount of medicine, what does every doctor say to the patient? Tell me where it hurts. Mm-hmm. It's because you have to heal to, re- I mean, you have to reveal to heal. Okay. God only heals what we reveal. And so if there are things that I do not either acknowledge or accept that in my life needs to have this, this, uh, this, this, this trajectory shift, Mm -hmm. then no matter how smart the doctor is, he can't prescribe what you don't admit. Tell it to my ex. He can't prescribe what you don't admit, baby. You got to talk to him. <laughs> you amazing. Silver and gold. <laughs> silver and gold. I'd uh, and rather the, have Jesus. And I don't know who that ex is, but I'm telling you right now, bro, you a fool. You should have fought for this one, bro. I'm sorry. Next question. Let's go. Where do you feel like uh, faith is being misused at present? Mm. Cause, and when I say faith, I mean the concept, right? Because I feel like there is a wielding, a weaponizing of the concept of faith that is being mm. used. And it's pulling in people who are genuinely yeah. like connected to yeah. faith. Like it's pulling in people who are yeah. genuinely in the hospital, right? Yeah. Who are genuinely saying like, I need, it pulls in people who are, I don't want to use the term weak because that's not what I, am that's what they look at them as. Yeah. But it's really just the vulnerable. Yeah, yeah. And I think unfortunately, that has been the narrative of of this organized idea of creating some type of construct of getting into this theist this this theistic belief system right and we see it early in the roman catholic movement and 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 its ancestral relationship with the church and politics in 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 europe and people paying for healings and miracles in the early church, you know? And then we see during the Protestant Reformation how Martin Luther was very uh, intentional by making sure that people understood you don't need man to be able to get to God. Oh, 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 oh. say that again? Well, we see through the, uh, we see through the Reformation uh, and and we see Martin Luther standing. So we're talking about Martin Luther, like Lutheran, like note on the door. Mm -hmm. Yes, yeah, thesis, yeah. And once again, humans, we we create this 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 set this this dumbed down uh, 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 context of these bigger moments yes. that was supposed to be for everyone, and then we create smaller movements yes. from these bigger moments. Yes, and so um, what what happened at that moment was not supposed to be this whole new denomination or uh, no 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 not. Not, not. It was not supposed to be the move of the Mark. It was not supposed to be the birth of the Lutheran Church. Right. Yeah, it was yeah, supposed yeah. to be a re. It was a Protestant. It was a Protestant uh, 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 um, reshaping of that. Of that, there should be this door open to everybody. Right. That can rock with this guy. That, 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 that we're saying that we think is dope. We think he. We think. Um. We believe there's enough evidence to show that he's God's kid. And it's not something that was just that was just created at a at a council through uh, several people that had this belief system. It it existed 400 years before Islam. It, it's something that we believe has enough contextualized truths that can point that there is enough academic information that we can believe and trust that this dude is who he said he is. Did he say he was God's kid? He said it. Yeah, he said it. And I know that there's that that 
that that that there are liberal uh, uh, schools of thought that believe that these writings were 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 fabricated to 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 say things that 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 he may not have said but we believe that there's enough manuscripts okay. and there's enough uh, uh historical documentation to support that when you have because see remember Jesus was not the only person in the Middle East that was making claims at this time okay. in that ancient world there were many people making claims of of a of deity. So it's kind of like how like there's a lot of like MCs who make claims like I'm the king of the south. Exactly. And then and crucifixions were happening every day. They were happening all, you know, three and four times a day. Jeez in that Louise. Era. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But but you know, it was a modern way of of penalizing crime. Right. And so and, and so if 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 this was the landscape of the era that that that, that we were walking in in this ancient time. Thousands of years of Jewish belief systems were not being changed. You didn't see people changing their diets. You didn't see people changing the different type of clothes they wore, uh, the different days that they worshipped on. This guy, this 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 one guy, in 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 an era where it was paganistic. You know, Rome was a pagan society at this time, and so all of these people now want to start being being martyrs. And of being willing to die, it's because Nero at the time, mm. the ruler Nero, he was tarring people that considered themselves Christians and using them as streetlights. So, 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 a hundred years over over a hundred years before, almost three hundred years before Constantine, you had people in that era that were proclaiming and professing to be Christians. Why so, was it so dangerous to him that he was, why was the concept of Christianity so dangerous to Nero that he felt the need to make examples of its followers? And that's what I think is so beautiful. I think that that right there- legit, no, I'm asking, why? Well, 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 oh. and, well is I think that that's what legitimizes the story of the belief of faith, of, of the Christian faith, is because these were not influential people. Think about it. When you talk about this, 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 this region of the world and the people that were believing in this space, they did not have the power. Rome had the power. So what made it so powerful that it was a threat? Because it was true. They they saw but what it, what was. I guess my question is like, what was threatening about its truth? It's because its truth was going against everything that was antithetical to paganistic ideals and beliefs. Uh, 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 um, if you have a rulership that is that is having games where the games are killing people for sport, yes, <laughs> you see what yeah. I'm saying, and and the way that it was treating uh, uh, its poor, yes, and, 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 and the Colosseum, yeah, yeah, yeah. And the all of that, fights, yes. and then now this belief system that started to rise and bubble that was saying that these are your brothers and these are your sisters and these are your equals and they should be treated with with this certain space and that there's a kingdom it that undermines we're... power. Yeah, but the beautiful part of who it was coming from, the movement was coming from peasants that had no ability to overthrow the leadership and it continued to grow, that these people were willing to be martyrs. And again, Jesus was not the only guy making these claims at the time. So what was so unique about this guy that people that had been eating a certain way for thousands of years were willing to change their, their belief systems of what days they worship, they, uh, 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 all of these, because I mean, you know, Jewish customs and Jewish ideals are very deeply rooted mm -hmm. and entrenched in the people that believe them. And so these were Jewish people that were not only Jewish by the uh, by faith, they were Jewish by culture. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. They were Jewish by race. That 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 many of them by the droves were beginning to change all of these things that they've been taught for thousands of years for this one peasant guy that died on the cross in the middle of all these other people. That's what I'm saying is that that in itself is the beautiful miracle of this truth that no one can argue against because it happened. People, people change their lives. And their lives were interrupted in ways that we had never seen before in anyone that had made these type of claims of deity. Is it fair to suggest that there have... Okay, walk with me on this. I'm going to walk with you in your house shoes. Let's walk. When I hear the story of, you know, Jesus and him awakening something in, in peasants, right? what I feel like is being awakened is self-worth, value that has not been provided by society. And that, 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 this little light of mine, I'm going to let it shine. And 
what I see is we have we have had centuries upon centuries upon centuries of humans who have decided who is valuable and who is not based on their own egoism, based on their own greed, et cetera, et cetera. Right. Like people just decided, like, I'm a God. And then they were they were they were able to convince other people they're a God. What I think is specific specifically. That's oof. okay. That, that's that's a part of the country we're in. That's okay. <laughs> what I think is specifically uh-huh. unique about the story of Jesus is that it was not about it was not about awakening these things in people in order for them to take power against other people. It was more it was about being able to have a um a system of value for yourself that you can exist in this life with that you can trust in that other people can trust in right that other people can connect to so for me god exists within all of us for me i see god as a uh, an interconnectivity that flows through all of us beings because we are made of magic we don't even truly understand what we're made of somehow mm. we mm. are mm. atoms and mm. matter that is combined and then our brain is this intricate machine that is mm. still not fully understood and we give off energy like humans physically give off mm-hmm. and we combust mm-hmm. right mm-hmm. we combust that's why when people come into a room you can mm-hmm. feel like mm-hmm. what's mm-hmm. what's this right mm-hmm. and so that energy to me is god for me amanda mm-hmm. and that is why the connectivity of each other is so important because we are a higher power that is moving beyond just our consciousness it's moving outside of us all the time so when i hear when i when i hear you speak so fervently and so honestly about you know what jesus has been able to awaken in people i don't think that there aren't other people that have come through this uh through this expanse of time that have I, sorry, I do think there are other people who have come through this expanse of time who have been able to do that for people, right? Like, and I don't think it has been at the same, maybe not at the same level, maybe not at the same uh, effect. Um, but I think what is important to me is always just coming back to the bottom line that everyone, I believe, deserves to feel like they belong here. Mm. And that is not effective for power structures. Mm. Mm. <laughs> facts, facts, facts. You know, and and I think that both can be true at the same time. As as I believe that 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 two statements that I would say is that once again, he was not the only one making these claims at the time. But that, was he the only one actually doing the thing? I believe that there were others. It's because when we start to see um, that 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 because you have these these other gospels, yeah, yeah, that, yeah. That, you know what I mean. That yeah. tell these other stories, exactly. And so and so that's. But they what, maybe didn't have the the same. <laughs> they'd have the huspa, right? yeah, yeah, the yeah, charisma. Yeah, but, but they but didn't I, have the same connectivity though. To it's, but but the spiritual source. But then the other conversation or the other question is then also then why him. But it's it said yeah no but and, that's yeah, real. I yeah, mean it's yeah. real. I mean I think that's I think the thing so that we big. don't know. But I do believe, though, is I do believe that there is a fingerprint that you can begin to see, even even that it uniquely was the same place that was the origin of the beginning of man, where we see that the first man was found historically and scientifically. We also see the influence that he had in that particular uh, region of the world. And then the forefathers of the faith were also men of African descent. You had origin, you had Tertullian. You had uh, uh, of the very first church at Alexandria. And so you start to see that this started to spread. And we historically, historically, there has not been an individual or a moment that not only impacted the region the way it did. And, and, and again, this region where everyone became this underdog that began to take over with, with influence that changed. We, we have never historically seen a race of people abandon everything that was intricately wired within them Mm -hmm. for the sake of not being willing to die for this case for centuries. And they were doing it for centuries. I mean, centuries before the rule of Constantine, we see these poor people 
make these claims that got them killed. And then we saw the spread of it and the power and the structure of it with our own people, people of African descent. Europe did not influence Africa with Christianity. It did. Africa. Yes. No, Africa influenced Europe. That they, they Yes, um, um, there is a guy named Thomas C. Odom, a white man from Princeton, that wrote an incredible book years ago. And it's a brilliant read, how Africa reshaped the Christian mind. Africa was the hub and the genesis of the Christian faith. Tertullian, uh, you look at Augustine, you look at Origen, these are all men of color, these are African men that were the forefathers of the Christian faith. I mean, I don't know enough to challenge, so I'm just gonna have to yeah, take it. But I promise you, it, <laughs> I promise you, it is brilliant. Mm -hmm. it is br and I think that that's the problem. See, see, what you said is so beautiful, is that there is not enough historical academic conversations happening in defense of the Christian faith. So now we have all of this revisionist I history. I tell you though, I, so I just want to, I want to see, here's the thing. I don't think that the Christian faith would need to be defended if it wasn't so often being used to offend. Fair, fair. Because fair. I don't even think it matters if Jesus was real or not, if whatever we're using is helping people. I don't, I genuinely don't. Because I just don't want him to be is I just don't want him to be limited to this self-help book. That, that's what I'm saying. Is that no? I don't yeah, think it's yeah. self-help. I think it's. I think it's. I think it's a. It's. It's not just self-help. It's also a a a life path, right? I think that it's guidance, right? It's mm. a. It's mm. a north star. Mm. It's a beacon. Mm. It's a. Mm -hmm. Preach. <laughs> it's it's Preach. the. Uh, yeah, yeah. Come it's on, the come sensors on, on your car when you're going. You know, come when you're on, going Deborah. into the other come lane, on, it goes. Do, 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 and it brings really, you so silly. So I, you know, we we all have different things that you know, not different things. We all have different methods for that. My issue is that I think we end up putting so much effort into like I I see this on the internet all the time where people like want to respond with like bible verses to defend yeah 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 and I'm like yeah, I'm yeah, like yeah, this yeah, is yeah. irrelevant right. I because agree. ultimately I agree. I'm like you wouldn't have to defend this yeah. if you weren't using this to yeah. harm and I can't argue against that I I as I have no rebuttal to that truth and 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 I think that that has been the most uh disheartening part of the journey that I've had to walk through over the last two decades as a Christian is to see uh, to see the deficiencies mm. of, of the faith that I've subscribed to, that I've given my life to. And I know that as um, often in the Christian community, there's a lot of things being pointed at culture right now. Culture is the problem of this. Culture is the problem. Well, they've been getting at you about that, right? Like you doing too much culture with your Christianity. Since day Quit one. Quit making these people stomp. Since day one. Since people day one. People having too much fun. I've been gyrating too much since day one. Gy I've been gy <laughs> gyrating too much. I've been <laughs> dropping <laughs> low for Jesus. <laughs> Wasn't that horrible? Did you remember that? Wasn't that Shout horrible? out to But it was Bashir. good, though. It was good and terrible. <laughs> <laughs> like it I remember saying it was good yes. and terrible. And so I do think that that is the reason why you, it, I said earlier that I do think that there needs to be a new PR person in place. Is I think that there needs to be something. And when I say that. You know what the best PR for Jesus would be? Loudly challenging those who are misusing his image. Amen. That is what I believe. And that is me coming, that is me, Amen. that's coming from me as a non-Christian. I am, I am willfully Amen. saying that I am ignorant in a lot of the theology that you're referring to? Well, no, 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 no. That's not even theology I'm referring to. I'm talking about academic history. Okay, so I am willfully yeah. ignorant to the academic history. Yeah. Uh, but I I think it is, it's, okay, for instance, you know, people are very like, oh, Democrats, Republicans are the same thing. We need to, yeah. we, you know, there needs yeah. to be a new marketing plan for Democrats, right? And I'm like, the marketing plan for Democrats should literally just be shutting down Republicans. Like, you don't need to come with your own MAGA like lo, uh, yeah. saying and motto. Yeah. It should yeah. be action. Yes. It should yes. be action. I feel yes. like there was a time where the black church was synonymous with yes. not only Christianity, but yes. with action. Yes. Yes. Right? Like yes. Reverend Shuttlesworth. Yeah. Reverend yeah. The yeah. Reverend Dr. Martin Luther yeah. King. Like, yes. the, you know what I mean? Yes. And even yes. if we take it beyond the church and we take it to the nation, you know, there was, mm -hmm. it yes. was synonymous yes. with, yes. we're not just teaching faith. Yes. We're not just yeah. teaching community. Yeah. We're teaching challenging right. and action. And shout out to the nation for what they did during that movement. Correct. That, 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 that they were very powerful and empowering our people to be able to see up above and past the oppression. And don't y'all say faith without works. What's, how's it mm -hmm. go? 
y'all, yeah, yeah, uh, <laughs> y'all, us, yeah, yeah, we, we say, or the uh, text says, faith that works is dead, yeah. That's what it says. It's so funny, y'all. Yeah, and and <laughs> I, do, I have to yeah. say, y'all, because I understand. I understand clearly. Because you, I think it's also very necessary for people to understand that people who do not believe the same thing can have a conversation and can yeah. come to understandings that are still on a high vibration. There's still precepts. You see, you, yes. that 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 you still subscribe to the precepts. I think that for someone like me who is committed to the to the validity and to the longevity of a belief system that has constantly been attacked and destroyed even by its own internally. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? Because yes. sometimes sometimes it has been this cancerous space where we are destroying ourselves mm -hmm. by the execution of being hypocritical in the same love that we say that we need and receive that we don't give to others. And so mm -hmm. somebody who is, uh, who's very passionate, as you can see, I'm very passionate and committed to how we love people that we have always painted to be unlovable. And I think that that is the most uh, um, horrific a uh, uh, billboard for any belief system that you want people to sign up to. So where does the intersection of faith and politics exist for you now? Like you talked about how there was a time in the 50s where it became like, you know, very intrinsically connected. Yes. And I feel like we are in that time again, like in a yeah. very loud way where they are very uh, indiscriminately citing Jesus as yes. a reason for yes. discriminating against whoever, 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 whoever is. I believe that any gospel that people, that's that any gospel that people sign up to that is not in its totality, you are part of the problem that, 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 that there is a loud hypocrisy. God cares about not only the womb, he cares about the tomb. When you only care about a baby that you believe in what, 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 whatever your scientific ideal of, of what the baby is, when the baby is, but after the baby is born, you do not have, you do have policies and procedures in Correct. place to be able to help the community, to be able to continue to raise the life of that baby. You are a lie and you are a hypocrite and that is not of Jesus. And so anybody that signs up to any community that that does not have the longevity of the heart of what would Jesus do, you are part of the problem and not part of the solution. And that's why I believe that deconstruction of all the majority of belief systems in America, we, that, that, that until we acknowledge the sins of our contributions, we're going to continue to see the demise of what Jesus would be within the framework of culture. Can I tell you one of my frustrating things that I witness on a regular basis is people speaking for Jesus. People speak, well, you know, this is, you know, God would do da 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 da, and Jesus yeah, would do da da. And yeah, I'm like, okay, yeah, easy. Yeah, yeah. Unless you it's have. It's a little scary. It is. It's a little scary. And it undermines their belief that he is a higher power. Especially when it's coming from patience. I, I, it's, I think that what scares me even more than what you're saying is the arrogance. Yes. That we even communicate what we believe the Bible to say, meaning that, 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 that there's, an, there's this elitist spirit that we communicate. That is very much, you're sick. You need help. You need Jesus. Mm. Let me tell you what you need. Do you know what I reply to those people with? What? May the force be with you. <laughs> but but let me tell oh, that's so scary. <laughs> Yo, you, you guys don't understand all the layers in that message right there. But <laughs> yeah, see, because I know you so but now I know of you deeper. Mm -hmm. It's there's just layers, and that's scary the way you said that. Wow. <laughs> but 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 I think that that it should be very much more of is that the posture should be. Instead of the communication coming from the doctor to the patient, it should be, I'm in the same hospital room with you. I'm in the bed next to you. Mm. And I'm saying to you, yeah, man, I know how that feels. Yeah. I can only imagine how that hurts you. Mm -hmm. I've gone through some things too. Yes. Let me tell you about what this guy did for Speak me. Speak on it. And, 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 and if he did it for me, I know there ain't nothing in your life that he wouldn't rock with you on. And so this, this, this hierarchical type of posture that we have, have when it comes to sharing our faith, we are doing more damage. It is disturbing. It breaks my heart. And it is not for the longevity of the gospel that we all say that we believe in. Well, y'all believe in Kirk Franklin. This I know. <laughs> um, and let me just also say, like, you, you know, you, you are a testament. Uh, just your life is a testament of how faith is tested. 
Mm-hmm. Right. Mm-hmm. And it has not been a perfect life. No. But you have to keep coming back to. And I think, again, like I said in the beginning, I don't think faith is solely uh, related to just how it connects to Christianity. I think faith is the belief that there is something bigger. Uh, bigger is a loose term, but there is a, there was something broader. There is something uh, greater than you can even conceptualize yeah. that is that, that is guiding the path that you're on. And I don't know that any of us have the right answer. I genuinely mm-hmm. don't. And I'm not saying that to undermine you or, you know, the Muslim community, et cetera. I, I think we're all r- doing our best based mm-hmm. on what we have been given. You have been given uh, centuries of academic study that, you know, convinces you that this is mm-hmm. what it is. Mm-hmm. Uh, for me, it is more of a feeling uh, that I have. I mean, that may change if I did the same amount of academic study because I am somebody who is all about the facts, baby. Mm -hmm. Uh Okay, I love me the facts. But I say all that to say that, you know, in this conversation, um, I know that I'm speaking to somebody who, and I wanted to wait to be able to have this type of conversation with somebody who I know has been tested from many different sides Mm. uh, and has continued to exist as themselves within it. Right, like it's kind of you. Thank you. Well, you know, I think that there's, I think there's a reality to just being human, and that it has ebbs and flows and ter- twists and turns, and we're all trying to get through. Some of us are trying our best. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Some of us are not mm-hmm. trying our best. Mm-hmm. Uh, but f- having faith is a. Having faith is like Wi-Fi you can always connect to. (laughs) And so that's why you always got to pay the bill. Oh, my God. It can't just be something you turn on when you need it. Yes, it can't be something (laughs) that you turn on when you need it. It, You know, and and I think that Wi-Fi doesn't work everywhere. So I would say that... That 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 this belief system does, and 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 I and I and I and and I hope that 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 the damage that historically Christianity has done in the West, uh, it's, and and I and I do want people to know that West, that Western Christianity and the teachings of Jesus Christ are not necessarily synonymous. That. Right there, that's like a part two. They're not synonymous. And you so, should do a whole masterclass mm-hmm. because that I don't think that that statement is very that's that's a strong statement. Yes, yes, and it's very true. And and so um because it's those same people who are here in the West claiming, you know, Jesus to use using the teachings of Jesus to try to undermine <laughs> the people that facts. are his <laughs> his facts. kin as well. Facts from the Middle East. Facts, 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 facts. And so, and and again. The origin of Christianity was the Middle East. But um, <laughs> so we have uh, questions from folks. Remember, er, remember questions. earlier in the yeah. in the show where you were like, "Oh, she's looking at her phone." Y'all remember yeah. that when he was when he he said that little slick thing on the side. <laughs> That's why I was looking to see if the questions had come in. We're gonna go to the Patreon, and uh, there's some, here's some of the questions. Here are some of the questions <laughs> that are gonna get asked that you're gonna miss out on if you don't come are over. You screaming on the inside? Are you screaming. <laughs> So we got to find out what's the difference between faith and escapism. We're going to find out, is there an iconic gospel recording that Kirk would love to cover? We're going to find out, has he ever lost his faith and more. So come on over to the Amanda verse because that's where it's going down. When you talk about real Christianity and you're saying that not But it's only- not loud enough. It's not loud enough. Well, I Real Christianity help. is not loud enough. And I want to And I'm help. telling you that as somebody who is out here and who is communicating with all different types of people, it's not loud enough. Well, yeah, yeah. Well, you know, we can we can give you all the little buzzwords, but but at first, I do want to acknowledge it's not easy. And it's different. It's difficult. And the slave humming that she's doing over here. I'm singing is, faith, keep the faith. Okay. But, but, but had a little, the Lord had, had a little we shall overcome on it. And I, my I forget you can sing. <laughs> oh, following Jesus costs too much. Oh, yeah. yeah okay. I, thought we, I was like, we're on the same page. Yeah. Yeah. People oh. ain't trying to do all that. People don't even want to vote. You think they want to follow somebody that can't even see? Please. Listen. She's so good. Well, folks, you know, I almost went an entire episode without asking this question. Where does therapy 
fit in with faith. Because I feel like there's a lot of folks who will still say, I don't need to go to therapy. I don't need to engage in other healing practices. I have Jesus. I am a black man that prays and sees a therapist for the last almost 30 years. How has therapy helped you? It has saved my life. I was on a Zoom just 72 hours ago. I'll be on a Zoom tomorrow. I go to therapy sometimes three, four times a week. Really? Yes, ma'am. What do you like about your therapist? First of all, he's Nigerian, so I have to lean in sometimes to understand what he's saying sometimes. I love <laughs> Okay. Um, and once 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 again, he's he's he he he's no nonsense, could give a doggone about who I am, could care less. There's no VIP section. Right. And and it's straight, no filter. And it cuts through whatever BS you would create to yes. save you from being real with yes. yourself. Yeah. But 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 what you also gotta understand about your boy, I am wired. To, to want discipline. I okay. I am wired that way. Yeah. Like I am wired for, for like I'm not because you know what it, what a, a music career is. I am not one that's in the studio that's like this hot right here, boy. Oh, what you you know? I'm very much one that's like what y'all think is it okay? <laughs> you know how y'all feel? No, yeah. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. And 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 I've learned that my insecurities a lot in my life have also been my strengths. Same. It's because my vulnerability allows me yes. to be taught. Yes. Yes. Same. I want to be taught. Same. Maybe and that's why we humility. got along. Maybe that's why we got along so Boom. quick. Yeah. Well, there you have it. Thank you so much. That was a beautiful conversation and long overdue. Where's my camera? <laughs> Is this my camera? Yes.